time, y'all see the pickup time, 11.22. And y'all tell me in the comment section, have y'all ever seen a Panera Bread rated this low on Google? I see why. What's up guys, we are back. It's Monday. And yo, man, yo, yo. We got peak pay going on all day today. It's a random Monday in the middle of the month. I don't know why. Um, we got at least dollar. We got peak pay as low as a dollar fifty, and as high as three fifty. And literally, all day today, from nine thirty a.m. to eleven twenty-nine p.m., there's going to be a peak pay on. So. I don't know what to expect today. I really don't. But, um, yeah, we at the gas station. We filling up per the usual. I got my coffee per the usual. And we about to see what this thing do, man. Yesterday was a fantastic day. We made our 1500 last week. And we we looking for another 15. But we want, we want 16 this week. That's what we want. We want 16 this week. Last week, Thursday and Friday, we're pretty much duds. So, um, you know, hopefully we eliminate the duds and everything else stays consistent. But, um, yeah, about to, about to put this pump up, turn these apps on, and I'm going to catch y'all on the first one. And it's a wait-in. We got our first one of the day, Panera Bread. It is 825 plus total will be higher. Not even going to mouth, so pretty nice start all the Paneras on the east side man they are way worse than the ones on the west side hey you can see smudges on the window let's go pick it up go oh, first drop off get that out the bag I just want to give you a little update. Uh, we've been sitting in the car for about, going on about 20 minutes now. It is 11.08. Um, haven't got nothing, nothing really. I got the only thing, a trip radar request on Uber Eats. $4 for like 11 miles. Obviously, we're not taking that. Nothing on DoorDash yet. But yeah, the peak pay is crazy. It's like three fifty per order right now, so... The dashers are out, and the order, it's only 11 o'clock, so the orders aren't really coming in like that. But yeah, we got our pillow, our seat recline, and we chilling until we get some action. So that's it. Guys, next stop we got here is Chick-fil-A. It's uh, Uber Eats, $5 going one mile. And then of course, as soon as we got this Chick-fil-A, DoorDash came through. So we gotta pick up a Panera bread. It's ten plus going too. So not a bad combination. We could have went ahead. It's all good. <laughs> Fair trade. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Guys, look, forty-four items, and it's like forty-four. It's really forty-four items. Holy Jesus! It's about to be a slapper. It doesn't say catering bag required though. That's weird. Here we here and uh they stacked this with another one too so i got another like nine dollar one on top of this large one so let's go yeah so that huge order is not ready yet so we're gonna go ahead and deliver this other order they gave us and then we're gonna circle our way back to the panera um it's only like a couple miles away so no big deal We waiting at the Panera. I had to bring both of the bags. This thing looking to be a monster, monster order. Of eleven, we're still waiting on the catering order. Pickup time, y'all see the pickup time? Eleven twenty-two. And y'all tell me in the comment section, have y'all ever seen a Panera bread rated this low on Google? I see why. Guys, we are officially one hour 
past the time. Yeah, I'm gonna wait it out. I've already did it like, I've already been sitting here for like 30, 40 minutes. So I don't see why not. But yeah, hopefully the hidden tip on this one is good. But yeah, we're, we're past the hour now, so. Cool. <laughs> to close out this one let's see if it was worth our while yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, don't mind if I do sir don't mind if I do Guys, well, we sat on our ass for an hour watching YouTube, and after two hours, we're at a hundred dollars, boy. Not too bad, hundred dollars. Sometimes, guys, you just gotta have patience. That Panera, they really, they really, they piss me off almost every time I go there. Um, this, but you know what? Hey, I took it when I was waiting. I'm like, I already know this is about to be a nice little tip here. So if you think you're doing being petty by taking all day, which is what I feel like, I really feel like she was taking her time on purpose just to be petty to me. But hey, I knew that there's gonna be a good tip on this back end here and <laughs> I was gonna be fine. So I just calmly, I sat down, I waited, watched some YouTube, laughed at some videos and proceeded with my day, close it out and what you see you see what you see what it was so just stay calm but you gotta this also came with my knowledge um just kind of knowing okay 44 items panera going to a business ain't no need to trip don't i don't need to unassign i just need to stay calm be patient and wait for the order and that's what i did and that's the reward i got but we're on our way back to the hot spot we're only we're we're, we're back in the zone now and we're like two minutes away from being in the center of the hot spot so we about to see what we get next man but whew, so far so good let's go when we got his uh pulp it's 825 plus going two miles um going to another thank you going to another merchant that we don't particularly care for but we here all right guys we are at the next stop they did have the order pretty much ready i had to maybe wait a minute for the bowl see i'm like panera they're a little rude, but they're not slow, so it's not that bad. Oh man, I know who you are. What's going on? Hey right, guys, we got that one done. We're three minutes away from it. So, yeah, 30 minutes to make the 1275. I'll take that. All right, guys, we are at the drop off. I've definitely delivered to this house before, so I must have got five star. guys it is 209 hold on let me see what crap uber eats done sent me 802 for 13.6 miles hell no um but yeah we at the post spot it is 209 so we're almost four hours into our shift we're sitting at 125 and we are in position to grab another order it's two o'clock though so i'm not really expecting too much so more than likely whatever hits my phone as long as it's not egregious we're just going to take it. Obviously, on Uber Eats, we'll be a lot more selective. And the reason why we're so much more selective on Uber Eats, DoorDash is our main squeeze. So when DoorDash sends us an order, because we have to keep up the acceptance, I almost kind of got to accept it, especially if it's a decent offer, right? We don't want to waste our declines on decent offers. We want to save those declines for the shit offers that they send us every now and then. So anything on Uber Eats got to be a quick hitter 
or if it's a if it's just that good of an order, it's got to be good enough for you to justify pausing DoorDash. So, you know, generally, if it's a one mile swing with Uber where the miles of money makes sense, I'll take it. Or if it's a ten dollars, because ten dollars is kind of like that magic number for Uber Eats for a hidden tip indicator, then I'll take the Uber Eats and I'll pause the DoorDash. Right now we're waiting. It's two ten. It's a slow time. Um, so we may even grab something to eat while we're waiting. I don't know yet, but yeah, we're sitting pretty nice and I'll see you on the next one. Guys, next one we got here is a stack. It's Applebee's and 7-Eleven. Both orders going to the same customer. $12 total will be higher, um, three miles. So really good offer here. We got this offer when we was walking into the gas station so we could go relieve ourselves. So we finished doing that. We are feeling refreshed and great, boy. We ready to go. But let's go pick this thing up. 7-Eleven. Uh, they got hella items on this. 17 items. Good thing we don't got a shop for it. All right, you guys. We got to hand it to me. And these things. Every time I get an apartment, it's always the one at the end of the hallway. Almost every time. Hello. Oh, hi. She just went downstairs. Oh, well, I did not see nobody. Oh, okay. So, there you go. Thank you so much. Um, she took me five dollars on that time. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Yep. Uh, we are four and a half hours in. We are sitting at, let's see, 138.40. So, you know, the Panera held us down. Um, all this peak pay going on over here in the Kites area. And really only in the Heights area is oversaturated in this area like hell. Plus it's slow. Plus the weather's nice. There's probably a lot of drivers out. Like it's not too hot. Um, it's not raining. Like it's just, it's nice. So everybody's out here. Um, I haven't heard a damn peep from Uber Eats. Uh, and, and not from DoorDash. You know, DoorDash, they don't just flood me with orders anymore. Oops, hold on. Let me return to my dash, though. So. Um, oh, here we go. 902. It says 1.8 miles away. No, thank you. This is uh, a 902 for 9.3 miles to Bellas. Nah, bro. Not going to be able to do it. But, um, yeah. We chilling. I'm waiting for my next drop, man. Oh, here we go. DoorDash just went off. Um, Audi's 950, 4.5 miles. Golly, 25 items. I guess we'll do it. We don't got nothing else better to do. So we'll go ahead and take it. Hopefully there's some dupes on here. We got some dupes. Oh yeah, it's hella duplicates. Alright, yeah. This ain't bad. We'll go ahead and take this. That's our next ride, man. This Uber Eats. $2.10? Hell no. Nah. Going 3.2 miles. We're going to put you on ice, man. Because we busy. But all right, on the Audis we go. Audis, we back. But yeah, it's a lot of duplicates on these 25 items. Um, I saw one that had six, one that had three, couple that had two. So it should be pretty easy to go snag up a hell of a shop. All right, y'all, we posted, man. It is 341. We sitting at 147.90. So we sitting pretty okay. That's a five, basically five hours in. We're at 147. Um, we back. We are we over at University Heights now. We're posted behind the Whole Foods and the Plaza. And there are all the restaurants over here. Waiting to see what pops. Um, they did send me a Teresa's Pizza, but it was a uh, it was too much too long distance. We got Walmart coming through. Oh no, we got BB Bob. 1251 package going 17.1 miles. No, it's going to Garfield. If it was a, uh, feels like eight o'clock at night, then yeah, I would have took it. But nope. 
Um, but yeah, I was about to say something, man. What was I about to say? I don't know. Um, but peak pay, peak pay is definitely making this thing slow. So all we can do is wait. That's all we can do. I'll see y'all in the next one. 11.6 for 8 miles now. Alright, next one we got here is McDonald's. It is 7.25 going one mile. Ain't really much to say other than, um, uh, yeah, of course we're taking it. Especially right now when it's slow. Alright, y'all, about to drop off this McDonald's. Little old apartment, apartment building. This is a Cleveland apartment building right here, built out of brick and old stuff. But yeah, let's do it. Oh, next one we got Panera. It's um, 1025 going three miles. All right, y'all, we about to deliver some Panera bread to this damn mansion. And God damn, look at that thing. That's them, them goals right there. A nice house, nice old school, big old house. Who I'm getting out of breath walking to it. You think I could do this in 60 seconds? Don't go, don't. Hello. Alright, what's up guys? It is 4.30. We are sitting at, right now we're sitting at 1.6, I don't know, 1.64, 165, something like that. But we did just pick up this Dewey's. Um, it's 9.75 going 3 miles. So, we're here, we're actually outside the restaurant now. Pickup time is like 8 minutes from now. So I'm going to finish letting my videos upload into my phone so I can charge my glasses and get ready to do the rest of this night. But, um, yeah, 975, 3 miles at 4 o'clock, 4.30, I'll take it all day, baby. But, yep, let's get on in there. Hey right, guys, next one we got here is Target. It's part of a stack order. We got Target and Pizzazz. It's $25 paying 3 miles. Three items that we got to shop for here. So, just a fantastic stack. But, yeah, let's see what we shopping for. Oh, these are easy too. Let's go. All right, y'all. Be here. We at the pizzazz. About to see. It's just a salad, so. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully. Here you go. All right, y'all. We are at our next one. It says leaving the lobby door. And these are. It's a very nice order. Guys, after dropping off that banger, we are sitting at 204.90. We are seven and a half hours in. So we are sitting pretty. Hold on. I'm trying to turn at a very busy intersection here. Probably not the best idea to bring out the camera, huh? But yeah, man, we are smashing out. And right now we're... I don't mind sitting right here actually because you know this is a good area to zone straddle and if we don't hit on nothing if we don't hit on nothing we're gonna be in a pretty decent area i mean we're really close to this hot spot we're about five minutes away so yeah so far so good and we're looking to be even better in about five minutes or so or maybe now who knows that thing might go off but yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in the next order. Guys, got our Pizza Hut delivery. Another glorious house here. Man. I have to say, with the east side, you see some of the worst of the worst, but you're gonna see some of the best of the best. Let's drop this out. All right, y'all, we got Dewey's Pizza. We're back again, 1025 for two miles, one mile. That's to the restaurant. 
um, total will be higher. I'm guaranteeing it's a five spot. It's gonna be 50 cent higher. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, sir. So we had to drop off. See what this thing hitting for. Another just majestic house here. Leave it on the bench. Don't, don't, don't. Fifty cent boy, I'm a genius. Knew there's a five spot. Let's go. We're back at Dewey's. Eleven plus for two miles. So not too bad. I'm trying to send this a little Caesars. It was eleven seventy five or seven miles. It was going from it was going on Buckeye and then taking me to the East Cleveland. Absolutely not. Might just rename this channel. The majestic homes of Cleveland, because that's all I'm going to today. Let's see. Drop this thing. I'm dropping. I'm dropping right here. Bam. Oh. Guys, it's 7:09. We sitting at 2:36.90. We're back over at University Heights. We're posted, waiting for our next one. Uh, man, it's. <laughs> The pizza program is really keeping me alive today. That's honestly the only thing keeping me busy. Because uh, this peak pace is too crazy. Uh, red car too. So we're going to take this. We got $9, 2.7 miles Walgreens. Definitely going to take that. One item to shop for. Doesn't get any easier. But guys, man, during um, these times where the peak pay, when there's peak pay and oh, there's oversaturation or whatever, it's happening in your market where there's a lot of dashers. Man, those priority programs like pizza, like red card, like large order, those things come through clutch because they're going to pull you out first before everybody else, especially if you're also combining that with um, earn more, accept more, or diamond or rewards or whatever the hell it is in your market. So, but yeah, we on our way to Walgreens, man. We about to shop for this one item, boy. And I'm going to see you all the next one. Y'all, we ain't been here today. We got Walgreens. It's the Walgreens right here. Um, ain't going far from here either. So let's get this little one. Let's see what this one item is. What this thing is. <laughs> Pampers. Oh wow, easy. Let's drop this thing off. It's a hand to me, but she just texted me to leave it on the porch. So that's what we shall do. That's what we will do. It's starting to rain too. Hopefully it comes down extra hard so some dashers go home. Hey guys, we just dropped off those diapers. We're sitting at 245 at 730. So we are at the nine hour mark. Um, we're gonna make our way over to the fancy pants area in the zone legacy village we're going to drive drive kind of past there see if we could catch a nice order over there that's a nice ass house um and if not then we'll we'll make it into lynnhurst which is kind of like that's our money zone for honestly lunch and dinner over here in this zone all the other zones they're um they're very feasible though as well so that is what we gonna do, man. Today's been a good day. Tomorrow I'm off. Uh, I gotta go handle a personal situation tomorrow, which will pretty much, should pretty much be done after that. And then I'm gonna get this video uploaded. And boy, I'll be so happy once that video uploaded and I can start getting the ball rolling. But yeah, and you hear that rain, man. It's starting to come down. So hopefully it come down with them large orders. Stay tuned. We're going to see what happens next. Guys, we got our next one. Bar Louis. 2050 for 10 miles. The drop off is in East Cleveland. So uh, they done got me. They done got me. They want me to go there that bad. They ain't going to send me from here to there. But it's okay. We're going to go ahead and snag this thing up and get on over to the drop-off yes sir we got the drop-off 
we actually a couple blocks away from where I from where I grew up. Offer we got here, we got a stack, we got Chipotle, and then I don't know if you see over the umbrella, they got Giorgio's right across the street. It's 2111 for two, I think 2.3 miles. What a wild stack! <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll take it. Shoot, let's get it. Oh, this Chipotle is horrible, man. I'm gonna have to be rude here at the Giorgio's for the second one. Let's see if it's ready. Hello. I got a DoorDash pickup for Tracy. Nice. Okay. Hey y'all. About to drop this thing off the Chipotle. Chipotle. My man's got a quesadilla and a burrito bowl. It's my kind of dinner right there. I'll leave it at the door. Here we go. And pop. And smack. Let's go. I'm about to drop off this Giorgio's. Today's just been a it's been an absolute slapper. No complaints today. Oops. I got some pizza. Before we even think about what we wanted to do next, this Chipotle smacked our phone. 7.75 for two point something miles. So here we go. Hey y'all, we about to do the outro vlog right now because if I take another order, you're gonna see it happen in real time. But um, it's nine o'clock, so today we did 10 and a half hours. We made 2.95, 26 today. What a slapper. And let me tell you, man, with how much peak pay it was today, there was so much opportunity to make more. But we had too many periods of downtime waiting for an order. Or else we would have made even, we would have definitely smacked 300. Easy. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drive to the freeway. And if DoorDash smacks me with an order, I'm not driving through a hot spot. There's no hot spots on the way to the freeway, but there are strips with restaurants. If DoorDash decides to smack me with a reasonable offer, I will take it. I will likely, I will definitely hit 300 because there's no way I'm not. I think I think the minimum offer I can get is 425, and I think that's what I would need. Oh no, I'll be like 50 cents short. But yeah. <laughs> That's how we're going to end it today. So if, if we, I'm going to keep this camera on until I get to the freeway. And y'all going to see if DoorDash is going to smack me with the order. But today was fantastic. What a, what a fantastic day. That Panera was an awesome order. Oh, and that Panera. That Panera took hella long for them to prepare today. Because if, if we would have, if we would have smacked that out just even 30 minutes quicker, which still would have made them 45 minutes late on their order, then we would have definitely hit our 300 for sure. But, um, you know, hey, it didn't happen. Things happen for a reason, man. And I'm not tripping. But, yeah, we're driving past the Legacy Village. So, you know, this is a good hot spot area. But at this hour, though, most of those restaurants, they're closed. And if they're not closed, they're closed for DoorDash. And then we're gonna go past the Beachwood Moss Strip, where Bar Talia and Cedar Creek Grill, and, you know, all those other restaurants I took you, Bamba Tacos and uh, Taco Bamba, and um, what's the other one? Oh, Hello Fresh. There we go. <laughs> we got our last one, y'all. So we're gonna we're gonna hit Bar Talia up for 9.75, going for 3.4 miles. And that's going to be it. So our new total, once we add 9.75, our new total for tonight's 3.05.01, and we're going to call it an 11-hour shift. So you know, divide that by 11. That's the hourly. All right. I'm putting it on the screen. I don't know. I'm not about to do the math right now. 
I'm about to go pick this bar Italia up, deliver this thing. The drop off is over in Lyndhurst, so I just a straight shot up Mayfield to get to the freeway, and I'm going home with 305 in my yo. Let's go. But yeah, I'll see y'all on Wednesday next time. Up new upload will be up on Tuesday, my babies. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna see y'all on Wednesday. Let's go. Talia, we here. About to pick it up. Whew. What a snack. I can't wait till it get busy. Oh. It's been fun. But we outski.